I'm Ace Clark, I'm here for Seconds Out, I'm with Kevin Satchel. Kevin, how are you? I'm fine, you know, feeling good. So tonight, obviously, you're not on the bill. Um, why is that? Um, I was due to be on this bill, but um, picked up an injury in training. A couple of weeks back, I was uh, sparring, and as I've come back onto my foot, I went over on my ankle to do all kinds of ligament damage and stuff like that. So I still can't even, you know, can't even do light training with it now. It's a shame because in the last fight, you, we performed very well. You, you absolutely battered the guy, and obviously now you're now you're out injured for a while. Is it frustrating? Yeah, it is. Like, cause you know. Especially when getting a new manager and all my fights lined up and all that. I thought I was on a bit of a roll. So this is kind of a setback and that now. The, the last fight was a bit frustrating but it was good, you know, to get the win and to be back in the ring. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating that I've had another you know, an injury and, and it's gonna be a while out now. And you said you've got new, you've got a new manager, correct? Yeah, yeah, Neil Marsh. Why? Why? How come you change manager? Can you can you go into that real? Not really. Um, I don't really want to. I wouldn't like to talk about it. Just it just felt like it was time to move on and move on to someone different and all that. So that's all I'd like to say about that. Yeah. In regards to in regards to now that Neil was your manager, he's obviously got big big, big things lined up for you. Is there anything you could, which you can reveal to us which will happen for the next year? Um, well, no. I mean, I think I've got. Well, I've only got one more defence to win the Brits outright. So after that, it's definitely definitely a case of I'm going to have to step up to the next level and obviously that's European or intercontinental so I'm open I'm open I'm open I could get the European after this fight after this next defense I mean as you say you'd have, to, you'd have to step up to the European level do you think there's a much in difference between like say like the English fighters and 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 that sort of level yeah they do I won't say that domestic level it's about like strength and you know you know, heart and determination that and at international world level it's more about skill. Which I kinda of believe and I, I don't really I don't really want to get myself bogged down too much with like domestic level and always having domestic scraps because when it does come to me stepping up to international level I won't I won't have the tools required. You know I mean, and does it make you make you a better fighter? Does it make you more more rounded, if you like? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because if I have to get like a tough scrap, I'm, I've already done that. But if I have to use a bit of skill and um, you know show up my moves, I, I'll have been able to. I'll have been at that level, so I'll be you know a better fighter for it. Mm. And the build tonight, obviously, Derry Matthews headlining. Who's the, who? Are the boxers for you that are, uh, you're looking who might put on a good performance tonight? Um, definitely Derry. I always like watching Derry. He's, he's, um, he's, you know, he puts on a great show and he gives the fans the one. Uh, also, me, me uh, stable mate Nathan Brooke, he's uh, been looking tremendous in the gym and all that, and I think he's gonna he's gonna put on a great performance. Tonight. Also, um, a young Chris Eubank Jr. Um, <laughs> everyone, everyone when, he, when he mentions his name, they kind of give a little little smile. What do you reckon he'll be doing tonight? Same with, same thing he's always doing, showboating and you know putting a bit of a show on for the crowd and all that. He, you know he's a born entertainer. It's strange isn't it? because when he kind of when he kind of goes into the ring, you know he, he kind of gives off, gives off this persona as he doesn't like anyone. He's he, he you know he likes he he plays on the crowd not liking him. Do you think that kind of works into his favour sometimes? Um, yes, yeah, sometimes because then people make, he, he wants people to watch him. People want to watch him in case he gets knocked out, and that's why people like, a bit like Nazim. Some people didn't like him because they want and he wanted to see him get knocked out. So it is going to help. It's only going to build his fan base and or you know his ratings and his viewings because people want to see him get knocked out. So yeah, it does work to his advantage. Great stuff, cheers.